Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Pan30. I'm going to show you how to create this cool melting model in Photoshop. Also, if you want to boost your skills in Photoshop, I want to share with you Nick Peterson, who's an award-winning designer in Photoshop. In this course, he teaches you how to create elaborate, realistic digital compositions with a strong and meaningful message. Using Photoshop, learn Nick's professional techniques for creating award-winning digital collages. Creating something correct in Photoshop is not easy. You need to understand the principles of composition, perspective, lining, shading, retouching, and a lot more. Discover how to apply special effects using blending modes for shadows, highlights, and other techniques for enhancing your project. Close the course by learning how Nick finishes his images and prepares them for digital mediums from social media to large-scale prints. To find out more, click the link in the description and join the course. Now let's get back to our tutorial. Okay, first thing, let's duplicate the original layer. So I'm gonna drag and drop here to the little plus. I'm gonna uncheck the original layer and let's go and select here the object selection tool. And with this, we're gonna select the model. And as you can see, it didn't select it correctly. We got some errors here, which still need to be selected. And we're going to correct these by going long press, long press here and select the quick selection tool and make sure that you're on the plus up here. And you also can go here and increase, decrease the size and make sure to select the rest of the parts. Okay, it looks something like this and I'm gonna go to the select uh, inverse and press delete. So it's gonna delete the background, press control D to deselect. Okay, so now I'm gonna rename the layer, double click model and we're gonna need to reposition this. So I'm gonna press control R, drag a ruler here. So from here, I'm gonna reposition the model to show the face perfectly from a vertical side. Okay, so press Control T and rotate it something like this. I'm also going to select another ruler to see if the sunglasses are perfectly horizontal. They are. Okay, I'm going to remove the ruler, press Control R to disappear, and I'm going to position the model here somewhere. Okay, now we're going to select, what is that? Single row marquee tool, and I'm going to click here. So it's going to select this area. And from here, press Control T and just drag it up. So this way it's gonna extend the pixels, press enter, press control D to deselect. And I also gonna activate the ruler and drag it here because I need to stretch these pixels also. So I'm gonna select instead of this, the rectangle marquee tool, I'm gonna select this area and drag it until where the ruler is. Press control T, do the same thing again. Okay, I'm gonna go to the layer, to the model's layer, right click and convert to smart object and go to the filter liquify. We're gonna liquify this effect. We're gonna need to work with this, the forward warp tool, uh, brush, brush size is on 2300, some, you know, a pretty big size there. And I'm gonna just do these things, you know, expand and melt it. Okay, I'm gonna click OK here. And what I also can do is go here with the model, click on this, go to solid color, and you can pick and choose a background color. I'm gonna go with uh, yellow. So yeah, this is how you make this melting effect happen. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye-bye.